revenue growth was strong, but the margin did remain under pressure this time around. So here's a word from the CEO of the company on their performance in this quarter, as well as what their expansion plans are going forward. If we see where we are today, we made a loss if we excluded from uh, from foreign exchange and if we uh, were to exclude from the enormous increase in the fuel prices, we would have definitely in a much better spot. And if you see where we are today with travel numbers basically hitting 7% uh, higher than the situation prior to COVID with load factors in a quarter, which is seasonally weak uh, around the 80% and which a yield, which is rough normally in this quarter going down by 10% as compared to the pri previous quarter, it's now running at the, at the just a 3% lower level. So if you take all these elements together, we see a very solid uh, market development, uh, but obviously the price of fuel and these rate of exchange, as we just uh, alluded on, uh, had a negative effect. Take a little look forward. We continue uh, our capacity expansion and our network expansion uh, in the third and the fourth quarter going forward. Uh, actually, in the second quarter, we have inaugurated our 100th destination. We continue to expand that network and we expect to end this year in some 13 to 70 percent capacity levels higher than the pre COVID situation. Clearly, demand, as we have seen, remains to be very strong, and that's also why we're taking a lot of measures in order to meet with this increasing, uh, increasing demand. Clearly, uh, our priority so far has been restoring the network.